Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. PTC Industry is a leading Indian manufacturer of precision metal components for critical applications for over 60 years. Through its wholly owned subsidiary Aeroloy Technologies Limited, the company is manufacturing and supplying titanium and super alloy casting for aerospace and defense application within India as well as for the exports. On 17th January 2024, Aerolai Technologies Limited has announced a multi-year agreement with the Salt Aviation for the supply of titanium casting parts made in India. From 2024 onwards, Aeroloy will produce the full range of titanium casting parts for Rafale multi-role fighter aircraft and the Falcon business jet program. Now, this is a very good news for Indian aerospace industries as it will help to build expertise in critical parts manufacturing in India. It will further help to diversify the expertise of aircraft parts manufacturing, which mostly lies with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Talking about HAL, the aircraft manufacturer is going to participate in Wings India 2024 to be held from January 18th to 21st at Begum Pate Airport, Hyderabad. During the event, HAL is also to unveil two of its indigenous civilian platforms. The first one is Hindustan 228 aircraft and the second one is civil version of ALH Dhruv. In 2016, HL decided to create a civilian version of a Dorier Do-22 aircraft which is being called as Hindustan 228. It is a multi-purpose, lightweight, twin turboprop aircraft indigenously developed by HL to cater to the remote regional connectivity on short-haul air routes under the regional connectivity scheme Udan. Hindustan 228 can be configured for a variety of roles such as regional airliner or air taxi, VIP or executive transport, search and rescue, casualty evacuation, ambulance, cargo and logistics support, calibration of airport navigation aids, geographical surveys, aerial phot photography and many more. In February 2023, HL received the clearance from India's Director General of Civil Aviation or DGCA for Hindustan 228 201 LW aircraft. The DGC approved variant has a maximum takeoff weight of 5,695 kilograms with 19 passenger seating capability. HL also has the approval for a 6,200 kilogram variant with a capacity to carry 19 passengers. The added weight would mean the ability to carry more cargo. The aircraft cockpit is upgraded with full glass cockpit upgraded avionics and systems. In February 2023, Genesis Aerosystems Moog Incubator Company announced that it has completed certification of its Genesis Avionics Suite cockpit upgrade for Hindustan 228 aircraft. These upgrades include multifunctional flight displays, flight management, synthetic vision system, autopilot upgrade, UHF and VHF navigation, and communication aircraft radios, etc. The next platform regarding which we are going to talk about is the civilian version of LS Dhrub Mark III. During Aero India Show 2023, HL has showcased its civilian version of LS Dhrub Mark III. It is integrated with um, advanced class cockpit, advanced vibration control, navigation and communication systems. It features multi-mission, all-terrain, all-weather operation capability with night flying. The helicopter has max takeoff weight of 5,500 kg max cruise speed of 243 km per hour, endurance of 3.6 hours and range of 630 km. The helicopter has service ceiling of 6000 meter, under slung load of 1500 kg and seating capacity of 2 crew and 9 or 14 passengers. LS Dhruv, which is already being operated in huge numbers by Indian Armed Forces, has proven its reliability and performance. The introduction of the helicopter in civil platform is a good move and will meet the regional connectivity program of the government of India. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.